Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be doing a review for you and giving you my thoughts on the new Tom Ford Powder Foundation, which looks like this. Glorious, isn't it? So I'm gonna be giving you my review, review, my review, my thoughts, and application techniques and tips on this product. But first, it's time for a sponsored video by the gorgeous Audible. So, Audible is offering you gorgeous, yes you, you gorgeous subscribers, a free audiobook hmm, and a free 30-day trial membership as well. Now, as many of you know, and most of you do know, I use Audible. I don't just say it, I actually use the product and I use it almost daily depending on where I am and what I'm doing. Because I travel a lot, I like to listen to books, I like to read books. So this is very, very important to me. In case you're curious, why would you not be? I'm actually listening to, at the moment, a book called Seduction, which is the most probably one of my favorite books I have ever read or listened to. It is the most fascinating thing I've ever, ever encountered. And, I'm abs and I've listened to it twice now because I'm so interested in it. And it's one of those books that basically is about the greatest, um, the greatest seductors or seductresses even of our time. And it's so interesting that their mindset and the way they work and the way they move and just very, very fascinating. And just as a totally different avenue. On the way back from the gym today, I was in the car with gorgeous Mandy and she was actually listening to a rom-com vampire from Audible. So there you go. There's something for everyone. Now there's over 180,000 audiobooks and spoken word audio products. That's a lot of listening. So all you've got to do is download your free audiobook today and trial and start listening. That's audible.com forward slash gosmakeupartist. Link is in the description bar below. Knock yourself out, have fun, enjoy, and remember, don't stop learning because that's the beauty of books and audiobooks and audio spoken products is that you can learn, you can read, you can listen, you can absorb, and you can go for pretty much anything you want. Well, I like the motivational stuff and stuff that makes me think. Sometimes I like a good horror or a good thriller. It's so totally up to you. So there you go. Don't forget, audible.com forward slash artist. See you soon. Bye-bye. Okie dokie. So here are my thoughts on the Tom Ford Foundation. Now this comes in a compact, the gorgeous Tom Ford Compact obviously, contains a sponge which has two different sides to it. One for a light coverage if you're gonna use a sponge and one for a more of a flock side for a heavier coverage. Now as far as I'm aware that this product can only be used dry, so I have not tried it wet. I would imagine once it's been wet, that's it. You can only ever use it wet again. It contains seven grams of product for 64 pounds here in the UK. As you would imagine with Tom Ford, it's incredibly high end. Now I have it on today, I have two shades on. I have number, let's have a look. I've left them out for you. I have number 6.5 and 7. 6.5 is sable, so this is the color. And I have number seven, which is called tawny, which I have around the outer perimeter of the face. Now I use my number 19, no I don't, I use my number 12 brush to buff this in. Now the thing I've noticed with powder foundations is that First of all, they tend to be best suited for those of you with normal to oily skin for obvious reasons. But I've noticed with powder foundations that as the day goes on, they kind of require just more buffing. That's what I've noticed, that they need to be sort of buffed in. And this is great for those of you who want to top up as well. But I kind of find that with powder foundations, they just, they look really, really great for a couple of hours. And then they just suddenly need to be continuously kind of buffed in, which is what I find when I wear them, that they just kind of, they need reworking for want of a better word. Now they offer light to light buildable coverage. These are not, this is not a powder foundation for those of you who are looking for a really full coverage. These do work excellent, however, over your liquid and cream foundation. So that is an option for those of you on a, who aren't on a budget, who really want to sort of splash out on something like this. Technically speaking, these do actually look better over a liquid or cream foundation, unless you have incredibly good skin where you only need light coverage. So let's just put a little bit more on and you can kind of see it build up. Now I have two layers of the product on, two layers of the um, color all over, which is 6.5 and seven across the outer perimeter. So you can see, I'm just gonna kind of buff it on again here. It goes on incredibly light, but as with powder foundations, if you have any dryness, it will cling to it, but that is the standard for all powders. Powders cling to dry skin, so you need to bear that in mind but it does give a really, really nice finish to the skin. 
Whether or not you can justify the price is entirely up to you, but I think it's absolutely lovely for this kind of product, which really is a light to very light coverage foundation, powder foundation. Now, the lighter shade that they do is cream, which is 1.5, and the deepest is number 10, which is chestnut, which is a really, really warm red-based brown. Now, whether or not that will suit your skin tone really depends on your skin tone, but they do offer shades for women of color, although not the deepest that they absolutely could do. But there you go, that is my thoughts, my construct constructive thoughts, and all the rest on the new Tom Ford Foundation. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you've tried it, if you love it, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. And let me know what your favorite powder foundations are in general and how you use them. And I will see you all soon. Also, using a setting spray after this can take away any powder residue, leaving behind a more natural finish for those of you who prefer a slightly chewy finish to your foundation. There you go. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.